Naushin and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see whether this $60 lip kit worth the hype or not. You have probably seen this pink sequin packaging all over Instagram and Facebook lately. So this is the Pat McGrath lip kit. They came up with three lip kits. Uh, I believe they are all limited edition, but they also came up with the individual lipsticks as well. The lip kit retails for $60, whereas the individual lipsticks retail for $25. I got one lip kit in the shade um, Flesh and one lipstick in the shade um, Blood One. So um, each lip kit comes with two lipsticks, one glitter, one uh, pigment and one clear lip gloss. Why this is so hard to remember. Anyways, before testing out the product, because this is not going to be my very first impression because I have already cut them out and use these two lipsticks. I couldn't wait, but I still haven't played with these three stuff. So kind of a first impression for those stuff, but not for the lipsticks. But in this way, I can tell you guys how these lipsticks feel because I have already used them quite a few times. So these lip kits come with five products. Honestly, guys, initially I was not thinking of getting the lip kits. I was only looking at the individual lipsticks but since they're pricey but you know when i looked at the individual colors i realized that i actually want both flesh one and flesh two so i feel like okay why not just spend 10 bucks more and get the whole lip kit in that way i'm getting three more products and at the back of my mind i was also thinking maybe the pigment i i can also use as my eyeshadow we will see that because we I still haven't played with that so we will see but before talking about the actual products let me talk about the packaging a bit guys no matter how cute it looks from outside this is extremely messy I was really excited when I first saw this packet I was like oh my god this is really cute but no when I cut it the sequin was all over my floor all over my carpet this is just a hot mess so not a huge fan of the packaging guys and i think it's kind of a waste of products because so many sequins they have used in this packaging i know what i'm gonna do with that i'll probably throw them out right most of the people will do that so not realistic not environmental friendly so no not a huge fan of the packaging but now let's get into the product because um they came up with three lip kits each comes with two different lipsticks. So I got the nude one. They have one that has two red shades and uh, the glitter is also red and they have another one that is very deep vampy red. So, and the glitter is different there as well. The first thing is like, I didn't like the packaging. When I spent 60 bucks in a lip kit, I really expect the outside packaging also looks very luxurious. You know what I mean? Because uh, the sequins, yeah, they look very luxurious, but not realistic at all. But this packaging itself, they just look like the sample products, especially these, uh, you know, glitter or pigment jars. They remind me of, you know, uh, some of the sites used to sell the MAC pigment sample. They used to come in these kind of, you know, small jars. So not a huge fan of the packaging. Look at this lipstick packaging. Even my $5 ColourPop packaging is better than this. So not a huge fan of that. Some people might disagree that packaging doesn't matter as long as the product itself is really good. But for me, I'm a sucker for packaging as well, especially when I'm spending 60 bucks because this is not like $5 lipsticks. But honestly guys, I can totally ignore the packaging because the quality of the lipstick is amazing when i first used them i was totally blown away because it's very moisturizing very creamy on the lips but they are actually long wearing i would say so they are not like your liquid lipsticks that will be transfer proof budge proof they're not like that they are just regular lipsticks but i believe like i'm currently wearing it so you can see i believe like they give a little bit of shine but they mostly look matte but the main thing is they're extremely hydrating, very comfortable on the lips. These are the only lipsticks I have been using in last few days ever since I got them because my lips are currently very dry and chapped. These are the only ones I can wear and tolerate on my lips. They almost feel like I'm wearing lip balm on my lips. They remind me a lot about the, um, you know, Anastasia Revolution lipsticks, the matte revolution lipsticks. The formula is very, very similar to that. So the price they are charging for individual lipsticks, I can totally justify that given that the quality is there. So at the end of the video, I will put the swatches of all these three lipsticks so that you can see how they look on the lips. And if you are thinking of getting them individually, you can check that. But now let's play with these three stuff, whether it is worth it to get the lip kit. 
because individually they are totally worth it to me but let's play with them so let me just apply the lighter color oh one more thing i remember yes now i have realized like another thing is there is no way to figure out which color is that every time i need to open the packaging and see oh okay this is the nude one this is the flesh too like that they couldn't put any sticker on anything here to make our life easier that sucks because i hate this packaging seriously because what is this you have to open the lipstick every time to find out which color is that seriously you couldn't spend one bucks more and put a sticker there i don't know what they were thinking anyways let me just put the um light color in the middle i actually want to use all the five things here in the lip kit to show you guys that's why actually the nude shades i have got they are beautiful as you can see the, even the lighter shade this is very warm nude this is not like a very pesty nude even on my skin tone it looks really great i'll show the swatches individually at the end of this video but still you can see that let me just blend it a bit so now let's play with this stuff i think i will use the pigment first then the glitter and on top of that i will use the clear lip gloss this pigment looks like liquid gold so that was another reason i wanted to get it because i want to use it on my eyes as well so we will see it later but let me just apply it on my lips first i don't know oh They give a different look. They remind me of the metallic lipsticks. The pigment is really finely milled, so these are not like, you know, chunky stuff on your lips. So they, they have blended pretty nicely on the lips, but I don't know how I feel about it. I just like the lipstick by itself because this is gonna change the lip color entirely. This golden one, let me just put a little bit of the darker lipstick on the outside because I think like with my application the lipstick is already totally gone what do you think guys they look unique different but I don't know so let's play with the glitter okay So I have a little bit here. So this is kind of a coppery glitter. Now I'm a little bit scared because my lipsticks are nude, the glitter is coppery, and the pigment was golden. I don't know what I'm gonna end up with. Okay, the glitters are very fine, but I don't know how you are supposed to use it because this is not coming out. because this much is not enough and this is not coming out at all oh my god okay i'm not gonna use this glitter ever again because this is extremely frustrating to take it out from the jar but the pigment i'm really happy because it's very finely milled i'll probably use it you know i will try to use it on my eyes as my eyeshadow as well and i will see how it works and the look i have come up with as you can see it looks very unique it's metallic except the glitter part i couldn't apply it properly but uh, you know with the pigment it looks creative but i don't know how realistic it is at least me i'm probably not gonna use it in future like this i will try to use up the pigment for my eyes but like this i don't know i prefer these two lipsticks together to create ombre leaves or just by itself but not with the pigment not my personal choice so now let's use the clear gloss i once used it one um you know on my hand just to see the texture that seemed pretty tacky but let's see now let's uh, it's really tacky really heavy i don't know i'm not a huge fan of very tacky glosses like if you're a fan of really tacky sticky glosses you might like this but i don't know i didn't like it i'm not gonna use it i guess yeah you can live without this lip kit save your 10 bucks and you know invest it somewhere else so my final verdict is guys 
I am definitely gonna recommend these individual lipsticks. They are of amazing texture, amazing quality, despite the fact that the packaging looks very awful. They have six different color, which are really beautiful. The red shade, I have one. I will show the swatch at the later of this video. So they have some beautiful red shades and the nudes I have been loving a lot. So I have been wearing them a lot and I will continue to wear them a lot in this fall winter time, especially when my lips are very chapped and dry. So if you're looking for some very hydrating, comfortable uh, lipsticks, you can definitely check them out. And I can totally justify my 25 bucks on those individual lipsticks. But the lip kit, no, you don't need it. You don't need to spend 10 bucks more to get these three stuff. These two I'm not gonna use. And um, this one, I will try to make some use of it from, you know, the eyeshadow or pigment kind of thing, because I don't think um, I'm gonna use it on my lips. It looks kind of unique, but not my style. But these lipsticks, highly recommend these guys. They're definitely very good formula, very comfortable and hydrating. So stay tuned for the swatches, guys. I'll put them up at the end of this video. And I really hope that you have found this video helpful. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, beauties.